What's going on, everybody? Back once again to do a whole new thing. I'm doing a little trailer reaction for the Marvel. You know, as you can see right here, the Marvel thing right here, whatnot. Um, I was like very interested to see how this thing goes. Um, we just already put it out there. I still haven't watched Miss Marvel. I was like, you know, once it gets close, I'll probably watch it. You know, see how that thing looks, whatnot. But uh, the f first Captain Marvel, I was like, man. Me personally, I don't actually mind Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, as you know, everybody else and their little whatever had a problem with her. But I have a problem with her. I thought that she was actually pretty good for the role or whatever. You know, how Captain Marvel normally is just like sort of an arrogant, you know, don't really like joke around like little like, you know, person or whatever. And I was like, Brie Larson seemed to fit that. It was more the movie itself. I, I just really did really enjoy the movie. I was like, and I was like, I didn't really like how they did Samuel in there. I didn't really like that they really didn't have like Colson really do anything. I was like, she didn't really have the battle really in the adversity. I know she lost like her memory, but it's like, I was like, if there was an anime, she'd been perfectly fine. Because I was like, every set challenge that came along the way, boom, she knocked it out with no problem. Whatever the villain, you already like you like you seen him coming, and so it was like regular Marvel type of like villain, but it was just like ah, there wasn't even really like a boss fight. It really wasn't that fun. She didn't really do nothing crazy in space or nothing like that. The only thing that we really got was the change of the suit. So it's cool to see what's gonna happen in here. I was like, uh, I guess Photon or Rambo. How we're gonna see how she did? I was like, I enjoyed her for a little bit that she was in. And uh, WandaVision, uh, even though they didn't really do too much crazy with her either, they was just like, boom, she got powers, so, you know, so. But it's interesting to see what her dynamic is going to be with Carol. So, after all that, I was like, just jump right in. Y'all get started here. Captain Rambo? What the hell are you doing? Entering the jump point perimeter. I'm gonna get you some readings, Fury. Uh, Hello? Monica. Hello? Alright, so I will say that actually made me a little bit more excited than what I thought it was going to be. If you would have told me a while back when it was just like, you know, we're going to have three people in it. I was like, eh, I was like, you know, how the dynamics of everybody going to work. But I will say this does look fun. And, I, and I'm like, I'm, I was like, I am pretty much going to go see Marvel regardless. It's not that I'm like, you know, like, you know, they can't do no wrong because I was like, the last phase 
I wasn't particularly a fan of before everybody started also not being a fan of it. But this has a lot more like interaction with it, with like each one of them involvement. So it's cool to see what the dynamics are gonna be, especially like, you know, you got the whole little kid that's like excited about being the whole Avenger and whatnot, while you got Captain Marvel that's been doing this, so she's like a lot more of a veteran. And Monica Rambeau, who's also sort of new at this as well, too. So it's also cool to see how that's going to do. Also, I like to see how, not only how all their powers interact as far as, like, individually, but also together because it looks like they're able to switch in and out, you know, and, and fight. I don't think, maybe think of, like, a, not Marvel Alliance, but more like, uh, like, you know, like how you can play, like, the... Uh, like the Capcom games or whatever, you can just like switch them out and then y'all can tag team and do like a special move up and power and stuff like that. So, uh, so that all looks very excited. Plus, you know, uh, I was like, you know, delving off into space and also just like seeing, seeing, you know, kind of like Captain Marvel got her power from the Tesseract and Monica got her power from WandaVision, which I guess is also from the Stone, so technically she got her the same way, whereas Miss Marvel got her stuff from the Bangle, at least I do know, or whatnot. So it's sort of going to be cool to see if they also see how their powers, like, are either evolved or where they also came from as well, too. So that that's going to be interesting. And also more space stuff, so I'm sort of down with space stuff, and it, it looks like it'd be a, a good amount of silly, not like Thor, Love and Thunder was, or whatever, like, ah, oh, that's a little too silly, you know, for my taste, or whatever, you know, so I, I, I think I, I think that this is probably going to be better, at least in the, especially in the, in the first movie, at least going to be, like, more fun and more action, so I'm down with that, but anyway, I'm going to just wrap it up, because I'm sort of done with talking after I've seen all that, and if you enjoyed all this, cool, not, eh, but hey, I appreciate it if you do. Till next time, uh, I'm out.